myself straight. I'm not talking. Say something. I'm not talking. <laughs> I got trolled by myself. Music don't sound too loud to me. Realize your GF is Singaporean girl. You want to share some singles you learn? It's gonna sound ridiculous if I do it. There's just like general everyday terms like uh, can you off the light instead of can you turn off the light? This realm needs and, me. Uh, if you say like keep the glass in the West, I would keep the glass in my hand. Can you keep the glass? Okay, I'll keep it. But actually, singlish means you yours. keep the glass away. But they say keep the glass. <laughs> so they want you to put it back in the cupboard or wash it or put it in this one or whatever. But I'll keep it. You don't take my glass away from me. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm going to be a melee assassin, possibly. Or a bruiser. They have a bruiser too. We've got Anubar Kelthus. We're going to have maybe Rhaegar or another support. Probably Abathur. You can go for an assassin, Evil or a bruiser, or conquered. a melee specialist. So that leaves what? Murky, Zagara, Gazla. Oh, 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 no, not Gazla, sorry. Uh, actually, if they take. Okay, let's just see. We could Gazla. It could be really good. Hi team, I will play your band Johanna for Nomi, I think. He's not gonna like me for that. Ideas? Oh yes, it's Nomi. Bruiser means off tank? Yeah, kinda like Artanas and Thrall, Sonia. Those. Jogal. It's kinda like a bruiser. Thrall Rhaegar is okay. Earthquake? Maybe Earthquake. Let's jam. The oh, we're gonna have to remove calls. that command soon, Draconi. No more preseason top MMR. Ooh, Johanna Asmodan. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you won't be muted tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Chromie is actually uh, terrible here. Maybe I should have taken something with more wave clear. Carry. I will fight to my last breath. I think maybe I should have gone Kerrigan. Down. I should uh, carry. But my carry ain't that good. Like, if I was a great carry and a great thrall, I would have taken Kerrigan here. But, yeah, it's risky. Like, it's ridiculous because I'm level 12, 3 quarters on carry. But, yeah, I kind of play her like for fun. It's She's not an easy hero to play. It's easy to spam Q on Shrine Minions, so it could probably work on this map. And it's good against Asmodan. But imagine that. Polymorph, Blessed Shield, Sonya, Li Ming, it's pretty scary. You need to have a lot of faith in your support. And I think Kerr is better with double support, or... Greetings, friend. Oh, 
We have a new sub, guys. Let's welcome him. Welcome, Colin Snowy Seven, to the club. Thanks, man. Right, Keaton Slabbert. Though Rhaegar can also Q heal, but obviously the W of Uther is going to be better. Yeah, Uther is a great counter healer of the minions to the nice stacks. Pretty nice. Thank you, thank you all. Aww. Hey, Dutchie, a fellow Dutchie. Greetings, Thank friend. You, baby. Wow, legendary! Do I go auto attack though? They have triple warrior, Asmodan cast is one. Giant killer is a must here. Like spell shield is also gonna be pretty great against Asmodan, so you me. But I feel like we need. Well, do we really need the damage? Yeah. Giant killer. Now, I don't necessarily have to go for rolling thunder with right the light. I could go for block. We don't really have any significant auto attackers, but if I go for block in a minute, I can go pretty ham. I kind of like that. Let's go ham. Block. Warriors attack their fort. Uh, and Palindro. <laughs> Thank you, man, for the 16 months. It's not easy to threaten the needle with Pharaoh Spirit on a consistent basis, but I managed to. Nobi, you traitor! You were helping me stack last game. Now you're helping enemy house without stack. Coming up here, no? If I had a stun, I could stun him during his Q. We're not stopping the rotation at all, it's not easy because we have other. In theory, I like Asmodan against Avatar a lot. Really easy to kill Locust from across the map with a well aimed Globe of Annihilation. So Kael'thas is hard starting, we have Abba. I think it's better not to go for Shrine Red, do another wave. Because I would just arrive by myself. Why does Thrall hit after every hit on Creep Waves? That's because he has an attack speed of 0.91. Means every one second he will attack 0.91 times, or in other words, he can attack nine times in ten seconds. That's a 1.1 second, roughly, downtime during which you are basically standing there doing nothing. Might as well move in between to get to the place where you want to go, or to dodge that secret snipe from the bushes. Any skill shot is less likely to hit you if you make a habit of consistently moving. Just gonna go get some mana. It's called status stepping, you should google it, it's really a uh, helpful habit to have. I did not expect to get Johanna there. Feels good. Asmodan's having a party. So just leave it to me. I love clearing shrine minions. Thanks, Lene. 
I thought he slammed her. It looked like he did, but he was just like coming to life. Do I still have a fountain? No. Brightwing, Sonya on me. You are fast. Safety. Oh, well, I don't have mana, but I'm gonna go back anyway. I could take the camp, but I broadcasted my intentions so obviously. Plus, I would have no mana, so I'd be completely reliant on Avatar's help. That's better not to. Okay, I'll go there now, but I need my allies to cover other lanes. Silencing is done in two ways. Under review, if it's a few spread out reports. Instant, if it's uh, if it's like four people report you, four random solo viewers report you again, it's automatic. I'm gonna think like that probably wouldn't happen if uh, you know you were completely innocent. Why is it This is crazy. Thrall is still good. I mean, Thrall is AA whether you like it or not. But should you go for Seated Marksman, I think, is what you're wondering. Oh, uh, I explained Stutter Step at the beginning of the stream, Paladar, somewhere in the first hour. So you should take a look at that. Maybe we'll make a highlight out of it or something. What you mean is, is Seated Marksman a good choice on Thrall? In my opinion, it never really was. But it was a trend for a while. <sighs> Lol. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know who I was. I will return as soon as I can. I think Earthquake might be better here. A clever strategy. Sonya has crowd control reduction. Brightwing and Liming could dodge it. Of course, if you're good with Thunder, maybe you can hit it. We're gonna have really long fights at the shrine. Kelthos' chain bomb should be dodged and Phoenix. Earthquake adds value to both Chain Bomb and Phoenix. I, I want to try it at the very least. It's the last day of preseason. I'm not griefing my team, definitely. It's strong. I just want to live a little. That's a field to be draw. Uh, was that good? That earthquake? Who's I think next? so. That's just a copy. Like Sonya kind of needs the move speed, that's why her trait is move speed. 
Uh, earthquake seems pretty nice. I can tell you as a Sonya player, I don't really care when I get sundered, but that earthquake, 10 seconds intermittently, is more annoying. Of course, as Li Ming, I prefer earthquake and sundering on the opponent. Too. Why were the creeps pink? That's because of Asmodan's skin. The type of uh, the type of general of hell made them pink. Funny, right? Okay, I let everything only me hit me. That's really cool uh, fork die. Very risky. Trying to kill the fort so we don't go full art art. <laughs> Capably done, team. Punisher's still alive. Uh, one more cool thing about Earthquake right. is that it has a much better level 20 than everything else that the Sundering Fall has. <laughs> Can be a disengage Earthquake too. Give up? Absolutely not. We're one forward ahead. Now, let me take you through what I was thinking. I wanted to go back, but there was no chance to mount up against what they had. Because there were four people chasing about three. So even if I keep running, I would need to make it pretty far to get to safety. And I thought, at some point, I wasn't doing it because I thought we can win the fight. I thought maybe I can kill one. Because I didn't think I would get away either way. We had the copy, did pretty good damage on Sonya, then Johanna. And I thought it was the best way to actually get away. Not to, uh, you know, I wasn't thinking, let's re engage. Okay, he doesn't want me to stay here, and it, of course he's right, but you know, he's right. There's five people there. Let's, let's not do this. Let's do this. Haha, <laughs> burning rage, demon warrior. Haha. <laughs> Asmodan's at home, somehow he got revealed. Hearts down here. I got Tempest Fury. Firefly only me. Earthquake wrecked Sonya, man. Jeez. A Tempest Fury Giant Killer wrecked Johanna. My God, it's good. I love it. I think it's a good choice. Of course, I want to validate my choice because I made it. Now I want it to work. So I'm biased. But I really love it. It's not science. Because who knows what Sundering could have done. Still. Will not be seems good. I'm a little bit oom. Did we take a. Uh... Yes, fish and bomb. Perfect. Nice, nice. No, it's not a kill. 
I really regret that I had to go so far away from the team to heal because I felt that I needed mana. And we missed some chances. Well done. Let us press on. Nice job, boss. And it has such a sh short cooldown that you can use it to secure a single kills as well. When do you take Earthquake? Almost never. But I do feel that it was good here. When, generally, I will take Earthquake against characters that... I mean, it makes sense, like it's gonna sound super cliche, but that I really think require their movement speed to be effective. So, against enemy Sonya, Thrall, or Thanos. At the same time, tanky characters that will not fall over like a rotten tree in a gust of wind when you're sundering them. Obviously, if you're like against Greymane, he needs his mobility, but if you're sundering him, you can also kill him. Whereas like Artanis Sonya, you don't generally kill them in one rotation of spells, and they are intended to stay into the fight. So, they will stay in the fight, and they also can't reposition. So it seems really nice. Organism Abathur holds you for my enemies. Oh, the <laughs> Okay, two for one. Nearly got Johanna! Focus the tank, guys, I have Giant Killer! <laughs> one hit! It was one hit away from Lethal. That condemned into Osmo Q was just a thing of beauty. Well, we'll be roughly back again on time. Our teammate needs help. Careful! We're level 21st. And the shrine isn't active yet. Now will be 20 seconds away. It looks like they will have 25 skeletons by the time we can start to contest, if not 30. That will pretty much secure them the immortal. Except if Rhaegar and Anubarak start to try and interrupt now, which will be fairly risky. But they will have a short period where they're level 20 and we're not. Earthen Shields is amazing. It's like a mini Storm Shield, a few times. About 30 skeletons, like I said, 25 to 30 by the time we can Now we are a talent up and we're only missing me. We've got all heroics except Locust for him. I'm gonna try to plant the door on mainly. We got all alone. Ah, I got interrupted. Training. That that feels really good. That envenom on Brightwing and the subsequent chain lightning to finish her off. The turnaround at 30 skeletons, double kill, and we didn't die. Nice job, guys. Uh, is that upgraded shield from Johanna? She went for uh, yeah, radiating phase. How did you know that? Is it obvious this time? Oops. <laughs> Needs help. Good point. Uh, my level 20 is Earthen Shields, which gives uh, Storm Shields a few times. thousand damage on Johanna and the earthen shields are keeping us alive wonderful against Asmodan 
Another great reason to take Earthquake. It's a better level 20 than Bolt of the Storm. Thrall doesn't really need Bolt, because he has it, he takes it anyway. Oh, this is such a stupid die. Oh, thank you. Get the crack out of here. Oh no! I thought he was gonna chase me. I don't know what we're doing there. Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> that was ridiculous honestly they will try to finish the game now I don't think that I will let that happen though like if they can get me then yeah That Storm Shield, that's a great tool at the uh Fort. I think I've purchased enough time. Just barely. I certainly can't go in there any harder. I'd say if you want a challenge, go for Illidan, Grim's Nest, but if you want like a really solid good character, go for Sonya. Illidan is better in theory, but you need to be really good at it. Why Earthquake? I've already explained a few times, but it has better level 20 than Sundering, and I think it's good here. It protects us from Q damage at level, at, uh, with Earth and Shields. It uh, stops Sonya from using mobility, which she kind of needs. First. We have a camp pushing, but Fall and Shaman don't do much on the core. Wow. <laughs> he went for uh, Locust. I picked up a kill! Look what I found in the bushes here, guys! Okay, let's calm down. That Asbodan on his fat ass is waiting there for my feral spirit to bite him in the big buttocks. focus. I want to see in hot slogs how much healing I did this game with urban shields. <laughs> I started to anticipate the timing of it. I don't know what he's doing, it's so risky. To use this just to protect this a bit. Time to make my retreat. We should have left it at 39, so we can all heal first. It's hard to control without voice. This should be uh, actually Avatar's job. Ah, uh, the Immortal is taking half of his life damage before we get there, so bad. Actually, all of it. It's dead already. I don't have my heroic yet. It's 20% uh, life left. Right wing. Oh. 
support, Sonia? Magic so good. Walk up, walk up, my friend. Up, up, up. I must go back. Exactly. Good. These mercenaries. So yeah, we didn't really get much out of uh, out of that bit of keep damage one kill. Yeah, Johanna didn't go indestructible. She has eight deaths because I just focused Johanna when she comes to the front. Burning rage, imposing. I barely feel that she is imposing. Well, a loop 74k with that locust needle. <gasps> Kathas! Oh, we have mule! Wow. You can fight, they don't have Johanna. Quick secure. Of course, Sundry might have done the same. Such dive. Remember what happened last time we dived to random fort and still full health? <laughs> yeah, we, we all died and we lost the mid key. Oh. Uh, our core took damage, but we can't heal. Sneaky, sneaky. Going for Ava. <laughs> Hello. Yep, that's number nine. Don't say end versus Liming. Yes, Tempest Fury, giant killer boys. Consider your flame extinguished. Five versus two, if we just heal up a bit and let that catapult help us, we should be fine. Look at that, Anubarak, 100,000. Destroy the enemy's core! Destroy the enemy's core! Burst shields, a plenty! That is many earth shields. If you always take giant killer on thrall, 95% of the time. The other times I take spell shields, but giant killer is the best. Now, a lot of people ask why did he take earthquake? I've explained it a few times, but now that I, we finished the game, I actually would love to elaborate a little bit more. That was an 89 points game. Thrall is excellent. 5 out of 5. Okay. So. The opponent has Double Warrior and Asmodan, who's kind of like a warrior as well. That is three big uh, chunks of mate. Li Ming and Brightwing have teleportation. So in theory, Sundering... Let's first talk about what Sundering does. Sundering offers displacement, damage, and a stun. Very succinctly. Let's talk about the damage. It does about four to 600 damage, which is a greater chunk of damage on a character that has a low health pool. They have three with giant health pools. Okay, let that rest for a sec. Secondly, displacement. They have two people who can teleport and three people who don't really care if they get displaced. Sonya can mystical spear out. She gets really tanky at level 16, at level 20. 
Even before that, she's got crowd control reduction, healing. Asmodan has the biggest health pool in the game, along with some of the tanks. And Johanna can even pre-iron skin the Sundering and shrug it off completely. Or, afterwards, prevent a follow-up route. Finally, the stun. The stun is really good on Li Ming. It is not as good on Johanna and Sonya. If you stun Asmada with the intention of focusing him during the fight, you will actually be sorry because he will function like a tank and then his fellow damage dealers will kill you. So there was three reasons that made Sundering slightly less effective than it normally would be. I would love to take Sundering against people like Falstad and Vala and Greymane. That is my number one reason. Then, Sundering even when I said all that, Sundering would still be good. But now let's talk about the merits of Earthquake. Sonya's trait is bonus movement speed. Why? Because it benefits her. Repositioning, dodging spells, going in and out. That's what a bruiser does. Thrall, Sonya, Artanis, they play like this. And the reason Artanis is mostly a failure is because Artanis cannot get out like Sonya and Thrall. Because Sonya and Thrall have bonus movement speed, but Artanis doesn't. He gets the shields instead. Okay, so she has movement speed, but will lose it because of Earthquake. Furthermore, shorter cooldown. When the opponent has very he big health pool, and you have Abathur, there's often a, like a lot of posturing, time buying, poking, in and out, and then disengage again. So Earthquake is a good chance I can use it twice a fight. Finally, I'm going for a very heavy damage build with Giant Killer, follow through and Venom, and block. So... I want people to stand still while I shoot them. That's why I go for Earthquake. It's a 10 second effect. It gives me two full rounds of uh, Tempest Fury on a target instead of just Sundering. Wolf, one round. Sundering is the best for burst to follow up quickly and to take someone down. But against a very heavy front line, really like Earthquake. And then finally, to top it all off, Earthquake develops into Earthen Shields, which is one of the best level 20s. It gives you a number of storm shields, like small storm shields. Look, this one is 20% once. This one is 15% each pulse. Now, it doesn't say how many pulses it does, but if I'm not mistaken, it's three pulses. That's three times 15%. It's better than storm shield. And you can use it every 60 seconds along with that slow. Finally, what does that shield do normally? Well, it's not that great against single target pickoff teams. Like if the opponent is Merlin, Taronda like front line kill one target okay that's one thing but actually the way that Sonya has been on damage it spreads out a bit so that is all my reasons for earthquake there we go uh, get nerves of steel should we re-engage not like that we don't oh hello Oh, what? Why aren't they all dead? 